It was on the 12th of November 1991, at around 9.30 p.m., that friends Phil Travis and Paul Penman were out taking photographs for a project called Light and Dark. From the witness. We watched it hover for around five minutes. It was then that we noticed that the craft wasn't making any noise. Normally, if it was a helicopter, we would have heard the blades. It then turned around and faced our direction. At the point of the photograph, it was about 200 to 300 feet directly above us. It was then that we heard the light, pulsing hum of the object. The Grangemouth Electric UFO Incident 1991 My friend and I were taking photographs of the BP Chemicals plant in Grangemouth when we noticed a dim, or rather, two small dim flashing lights over by the two flashing pylons at Kincardine Bridge. We watched the object, which we thought was a helicopter, fly slowly over from the bridge to above the brightly lit Grangemouth Stadium. We watched it hover for around five minutes. It was then that we noticed that the craft wasn't making any noise. Normally, if it was a helicopter, we would have heard the blades. It then turned around and faced our direction. It was roughly 2,000 feet above the ground, then it dipped and increased dramatically in speed. At the point of the photograph, it was about 200 to 300 feet directly above us. It was then that we heard the light, pulsing hum of the object. My friend and I were quite shaken at the time, but afterwards had an overwhelming sense of excitement. Indeed, such was the closeness of this object that Phil Travis had to bend over backwards to take his photograph and so, what we are actually looking at is the underside of the object concave, with numerous bright flashing lights being thrown out into the dark night sky, which creates a sort of halo effect. The object is consistent with what was being sighted above and around the small town of Bonnerbridge, in Stirlingshire, central Scotland, the town of Bonnerbridge is still experiencing UFO sightings, but not as many as those which peaked between the years of 1992 to 1994. The SPI, Strange Phenomena Investigations, England conducted the usual lines of investigative inquiry to try and get to the bottom of this incident. We ascertained that there was no aircraft activity in that part of central Scotland that night. Letters to the British Petroleum Plant at Grangemouth, asking them if they had any small light aircraft or microlights in operation above their complex that night, on pipe inspection duty. Came back stating that no such light aircraft or microlights were flying above the plant that night. The BP plant at Grangemouth is in controlled airspace, only special authorization can be given. From SPI, UFO testimony is one thing, but when you receive testimony backed up with a quite spectacular UFO photograph, well that's another matter. We at SPI received quite an amazing UFO photograph which was unlike anything we have ever seen before.